Hi everyone, today I will show it to you how to install to RabbitMQ to your servers. So first of all, we need the one virtual machine. Quickly we are creating from DigitalOcean. It's very cheaper than other cloud providers. Uh, I am choosing the CentOS 8 Linux operating system. I am choosing basic. Everything has a minimum. So in New York area, one virtual machine. So I am creating with my SSH key and I am putting to my server name rabbitmq server. I don't need tag, I don't need backup, just create droplet. Then I will connect to my virtual machine with SSH in my local computer, my local terminal and I will start to my uh, install to my packages here I am pausing okay now time to SSH to my virtual machine I don't remember semi no actually I have to copy this putting here Here, just copy it, come here and pass to here. As you see, it is permanently connected. So before the package installation, I am using um install Apple release. This downloading ma to my server to all extra packages. Alright, then we will start to install the R packages. For this reason, we need the two package, two big packages. One is a prerequisite, name is um install Erling. Yep. This is a prerequisite. So I am pausing the video here because taking a little bit time. Now time to go install other packages. This uh, reason you install Rabbit MQ server. This is our main what saying? Rabbit MQ server you install Rabbit MQ server. I found the problem as you remember we used this command, it doesn't find it because we don't have a repo yet. So we are going to etc tab yum yum dot repo t dot t and we are creating repo for us, right? RabbitMQ repo. So, are you ready? Alright, so I can put the URL under the my video if you want somebody pair copy to this file. So and then I will click and then save and quit. Now we can use the our installation packages because the repo is ready. See? Normally as you see is not so uh, so hard different job. But in my case uh, in my company we are using proxy some uh, firewalls, IP tables, so I can connect to like e like easy like this to the internet and you installing. So, so if you are uh, installing to your company server, uh, be careful. Check the IP tables and firewalls. In uh, in this reason, we don't have any firewall. But if you have a firewall. Use the system CTL stop firewall firewall 
D comment. So in this reason, we don't have a firewall in this virtual machine, uh, so we don't have to, we don't need to stop it. But be careful. After the installation thing, start the firewall D again. If you are stopping, if you already stopped. So also one more extra thing, you have to check SE Linux status. So you can use the SE status. So if you see in mine enforcing. So uh, what we do, we have to we have to close SE Linux. So how can I do that? Set enforce zero as you mean as you know that is that now is disabled so how can i check that before that we use the we have to use get and force command now see permissive so we don't have to check it already you can see it's saying permissive permissive means disabled so actually almost done everything so just uh, we start to our rabbit server how can we do that um, system rabbit mq ctl start yes what was it rabbit mq ctl no sorry guys you have to say system ctl start rabbit mq server so this means start the our application so extra uh, we have to system ctl enable rabbit mq hyphen server command system ctl we are doing enable uh, if we are doing any reboot things uh, the enable command uh, giving to enable to your server service okay so uh, normally everything is ready but just to let one thing normally default this uh, this application working 15 uh, 672 port using this port 15672 but defaultly is not open uh, for the opening the, this uh, port we have to uh, we have to open something for this reason we are using rabbit mq ctl uh, I will check the, my uh, my notes quickly. I don't wanna do it wrong wrong thing, guys. Yes. Uh, sorry, Rabbit MQ plugins plugins list. First of all, we will check the, our plugins uh, for the default port. Uh, 15,672 uh, port has to be open. Uh, this plugin has to be has to be open. As you can see, is not able. So, what are the command? Rabbit MQ CTL no plugins right plugins enable and then our plugin sorry this one right just we need the, this plugin we don't need other all others is working now as you can see yeah three plugins started okay so let's check it if if config and get our get to our IP addresses as you can see then we are going to browser 
and what was it? 15672. Here we go. Our application up and running. But as you remember, we didn't add any any user, right? So we are coming to terminal and we need some comment for the add the user. So in this reason, we need the rabbitmqlctl add the user. Uh, this mean our username. So let's say Enver. And this is the password part. Let's say Enver RR and dot. Okay. And this uh, create for us the user name is Enver. And this is the our password. Okay. Also, we need this some some role, role right? And where is admin or normal user? We don't know. So in this reason, P wants to enter as admin. Yeah, this thing, this changing this part and running. And lastly, we need this comment. We are giving to some permission. We are changing the user. Okay, let's go. To, let's go and check. And our password and where or our hitting that. Here we go. Up and running. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you if you liked my my video, please like it and sub subscribe it. Thank you.